Okay, little devils, uh, welcome to uh, the next installment of our Soccer IQ series. This one, we're going to focus on attacking. Uh, at, and, uh, this one's uh, all about attacking the corners. So I'm going to talk about using wall passes and passing into space to advance the, the ball into the corner. And then once we get into the corner, crossing to the top of the box for a shot on goal. So we're the red team, and we're advancing on this goal. Notice I've got this dotted line. Um, which is the sideline lane here. So in this case, our right defensive, our right defender has the ball and is advancing down the lane. So it's, it's very likely that this blue player is going to come and put pressure, which in this case, this defender can pass to our right midfielder. One way to very quickly advance the ball is something called a wall pass. And we practice this uh, in practice. So as soon as that ball comes, that's a one touch pass right into the space, which is our right winger. And the right winger can now take their first touch and immediately start attacking the corner. So we're talking about attack the, attacking the corner. So using a wall pass, look at the distance that we've covered. There's this sort of little triangle effect here, but we've covered all of this distance in a very quick time frame, right, to get that pass done. We've already advanced the ball this far. The next example is as this person comes, uh, it's likely that they're going to get pressure, let's say, from their, from their defender here. Our striker can move into this position, into this space, and get an open pass here, right? One of the great things that we can do, um, passing directly to a person is great, but we've talked about passing into open space. So look at all of this open space in the corner. Our winger can now make a run directly into this space, and our striker can pass into this space. All of a sudden, we've advanced the ball from here all the way to the corner of the field and we're in a position to perhaps score. As we've done that, the, the players are moving up on the attack. We're all moving up together, including the outside defender, which is coming up to support the attack, right? If you remember that from another video. Their defenders, if they're doing their job, are probably starting to compact and, and clog up the center and move back on defense. So one of the things we've also talked about is once we're in the corner, it's a great place to be. However, it's not a great place to shoot because this angle is pretty tough to score. So once we get into this corner, now we need to look at that at starting to cross back to the top of the box. So if, we, if our striker is open, great. Pass right to the striker and one touch shot. If the striker's not open, our right midfielder, that's a, also another good pass. And we can pass here. And then here comes the pressure. We can pass. Um, immediately back to the striker and shoot. If all of these players are, are covered, we can come back to our right defender. And the right defender can then um, hopefully cross over into the middle, right? So that's the summary. The summary of this is uh, how do we attack the corners? We can use wall passes to quickly advance up the sideline. We can pass into space and make a run to get up the sideline. But once we're here, Let's not waste the opportunity by taking a low percentage shot that's probably not going to score. Let's, let's pass back up to the center and get a, get a shot straight onto the goal from the center of the top of the box. Thanks again.